You there? We're there, we're ready. We're so there. Hey, I'm Summer Brighton, and this is Taylor Spreitler, and we're sitting here at the Sedona Film Festival, and we are here because Taylor is the star of an amazing movie called Girl on the Edge. Wouldn't it? Uh, well, I play Hannah. It's a story about a teenage girl who goes through something very traumatic that has to do a lot with um, social media, which is very relevant now, and I think that's one of the great things about our movie is it kind of shows you the, the horrible parts of social media. She, you know, goes through this horrible trauma, and it's a story of her, her family having to decide to send their child away, and um, she goes to this place. It's equine therapy, you know, it's like a wilderness program, so it's very different than your your usual treatment centers that you would go to. Mm -hmm. and it's cool. about just her journey there. So how did you, like, prepare for the role? It was difficult because I was filming my show at the same time, so I would, like, go from being on a sitcom to, you know, being on this very dramatic movie and playing this very dramatic role. Um, so that was, that was kind of the biggest challenge for me, is, like, just going into two completely different mediums. It all happened very, like, organically, and even day one, we were all just kind of there. We understood what we were doing. We understood the message that we were trying to portray. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of it is, like, a post-traumatic stress disorder, which is something that a lot of people just, we don't talk about it. Like, you know, a lot of people don't really understand it. I'm just very proud that we were able to do a movie that I truly feel like will change people's lives. How old were you, and when did you decide that you wanted to be an actor? I started out, I wanted to be a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Not tall enough. But um, I went to New York. I tried to do Broadway for a while. It didn't work out for me, but it led to other things. You know, it led to me doing a lot of print campaigns and mm -hmm. commercials, and then I realized that I really loved the being behind the camera. It's more, you know, the security of it. Mm -hmm. And then my first job in L.A. was actually Law & Order SVU, so I came here and then, like, immediately just went back to New York to film that. I, I'm from a very small town in Mississippi. I had a very strong southern accent. There was a lot of stuff that I had to overcome, so... Very thankful that it's finally paid off. Yeah, wow, I'd like to hear that uh, Mississippi accent. Oh, I don't even know if I can do it yeah. anymore. <laughs> it would be like opening Pandora's box. Yeah, like, no, I can't not stop. Ever stop. <laughs> what is it like to be an actually working actor with a job like that? Um, it's surreal. We just wrapped our show two weeks ago. Um, our final season, and mm -hmm. but we've done 104 episodes. I mean, we're still airing until August, and I've been on that show since I was 16. Wow. So I, you know, I grew up with these people. You know, graduated high school, and um, Melissa John Hart like threw me a graduation and gave my commencement speech, and they like made me. Oh. I have a cap and gown. I have a diploma from Melissa and Joey High School, signed by Melissa and Joey Lawrence. Oh, so yeah, scary. it was very, it was a very cool experience, and I think there are a lot of actors that don't. You know, especially when you do film, you don't work every day. You know, being on a sitcom is kind of the best job in the world. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. You know, you're in front of a live audience, and it's loud, and it's crazy, but then it's so nice to be able to do movies like this where you truly get to be passionate, like so passionate about something, and, you know, meet amazing people all the time, and, you know, tell these amazing stories. If you could stand on a mountaintop and shout something, and the entire world would hear it, what would you say? That is such a deep question. Right? What would yours be? Let's let's flip this around. What would okay. you say? <laughs> well, Taylor, I would basically get up there and just say, whoever you are, whatever you do, whatever it is you make, get out there and make it. Quit waiting for someone to give you permission. You know, who inspires you? Like, who do you even look to now? Whether it's whether it's career-wise, something you want to aspire to, or it's somebody that just like inspires you in your life and makes you uh, makes you want to be a better version of yourself. I think there's a few people. Um, honestly, and I'm not just saying this, <laughs> but uh, Jay is really like he has become one of my biggest inspirations because I think he's very brave, and you know, I, I his passion for making films. He wants to make films that mean something. If you had to give just a couple pieces of advice to somebody starting out, what would you? What would you tell them? You cannot be in this business for the fame because it will ruin you as a human being. You have to make sure that you love what you're doing. You have to just love the entire process of it. It's a lot of rejection. You know, it's, it's, it takes a lot. You have to be very confident in who you are as a person to do this because you can be swayed completely different ways. There's a lot of peer pressure in Hollywood and... Mm -hmm. You know, and you do, you get told no a lot. You know, it's, oh, you're too short. Oh, you're this. Your hair color's wrong. It's like a thousand <sighs> things that go into passing some movie. So mm -hmm. it's not always glamorous. Mm -hmm. You know, um, on this movie, you had a lot of night shoots where I was falling face first into chocolate that was supposed to look like 
horse poop and that you know <laughs> people don't see like think about that kind of side of it they think of like the premieres and you know and that's all great but if you don't love truly love the process of it and truly love what you're doing don't do it <laughs> don't do it <laughs> hi i'm taylor sprantler make something she told you <laughs> she told you not to now taylor said it what